It's preseason basketball on ESPN. The Pacers come in doing a so-so job when it comes to generating turnovers on defense. I don't know if they have the personnel to really get after a squad and harass them all game. They will be squaring off versus the Kings who come in expecting to continue running their offense like a well-oiled machine. One of the best things about them is how they value every possession and refuse to make those costly turnovers. So let's go now to Indiana, where my colleagues Bob Steele and Rod West are ready to call the game. Hello, everybody. It's nearly game time at Conseco Fieldhouse in Indianapolis. I'm Bob Steele, and I'm here with my partner, Rod West. Let's take a quick look at the starters. Any thoughts, Rod? Doug Christie is a great ball handler, so a lot of pressure rests on his shoulders. The coach is counting on him to play mistake-free basketball. Okay, Rod, now let's head to center court for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention courtside for the player introductions for the Sacramento Kings. At center, Vlade Divac. At forward, Peja Stojakovic. At guard, Doug Christie. Also at guard, Mike Bibby. Also at forward, Chris Weber. And now it's time to be the starting lineup for your Indiana Pacers. At the center position, out of Purdue. Six foot eleven, number fifty-two, Brad Miller. And forward, out of St. John's, six foot seven, number fifty. the opening tip. Passes it. Pops it up from nine. The defensive rebound by Miller. What a denial, Bobby. Got that hand up there and sent it back down. Great job. O'Neal is asking for it in the post. O'Neal elevates. Drains the first bucket of the game. Stojakovic inbounds the ball. The King making up court with a narrow deficit. 2 0. Christie passes it. Bibby elevates. Gets the lay in. Bibby. Bibby has a crossover move that's the envy of most NBA players. We got to see it on that play. Just over four minutes here in the first quarter. O'Neal is asking for it in the post. They work it in. Bounce pass. Seven on the shot clock. Reggie Miller launches from beyond the arc. Connects off the front rim. Perfect from the perimeter. He's so good at those. Mm, truly a joy to watch. Just under four minutes here in the first quarter. Passes. They push it inside. Seven seconds to shoot. Stojakovic has it. Peja Stojakovic Peja shoots from Stojakovic. the paint. Tickles the twine. Man, he is just in his element inside. What a player. The Pacers take it up court with a narrow lead. Five to four. Kinsley passes the ball. Received by Miller. Slammed down by Miller. Miller didn't throw down the fanciest dunk right there, but it all counts the same. 
just over three minutes here in the first quarter. Watch that low. Inside. The ball's loose. The Pacers were the last ones to get a piece of it before it went out of bounds. Weber throws it in. Watch the pick. Bounce pass. Two, three, two, three. Seven on the shot clock. The jumper was buried by Bibby. Bibby didn't like what he saw there at first, so he gives a little pump fake to get a better look. It works like a charm here, too. And after the fake, just lines up for the J and drops it in, Rod. The Pacers have the ball in a small lead, 7-6. to six. Miller is looking for the ball. Miller puts it up, gets back iron and out. Way to clean the offensive class right there. Miller capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. Nice shot. Had the matchup he wanted, got the points he wanted. The King bring it up. They're shooting 75% from the floor. Passes it in low, kicks it out. Christie unloads from about 20 feet out. Can't answer back. Christie must have realized that he had an average defender on him and put up that shot. The problem is, is that he's just an average shooter. Takes off. Gently drops it in. Pivot inbounds the ball. Just under two minutes here in the first quarter. Stay in, stay in. Get him. Bibby makes the pass. Seven seconds to shoot. Bibby launches from beyond the arc. Nails it. He is just brutal on the defense from the three-point land, Bob. Truly one of the great shooters in this league. The Pacers have the ball. They're five out of their last six from the floor. Into the low post. Rises up. Watches the lay-in. That's a nice job fighting on the offensive board. Weber grabs the defensive board. The King, with the score of this trip down, can tie it up. Bounce pass. In the skies. Fifty-four seconds here in the first quarter. Passes. Top of the key. Seven on the shot clock. Tinsley passes. Goes with the fadeaway. Jamal Tinsley. Jamal Tinsley gets the bucket, but he's the beneficiary of one heck of an assist right here. That's what a good teammate does. He gets you the ball right in the spot where you're most comfortable. And after that, it's up to you to knock it down. And that's what he does right here. They can go two for one here if they hurry, Bob. Bibby brings it up. He's three out of his last four from the floor. Passes it. Stoyakovic stepped on the line, and they'll give the ball up. Our test will leave the floor. Substitution for the Pacers. Pivot will leave the floor. Substitution for the Kings. O'Neal with the inbound. The Pacers can extend their lead this trip down. They'd love to do that. Passes. Harrington passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. The three ball is dropped in by Miller. The three-point shot is his forte, and of course, he nails that one. Bob, you have got to watch him close out there in the outskirts. Bibby has the ball. He's shooting 100% from the floor. Got it off in time, but the buzzer beater was missed by Bibby. There's the horn, and at the end of one, it's 16 to 11. The Pacers have the lead after one period, Rod. What's been the key stat as far as you're concerned? Field goal percentage, Bob. They're definitely doing a better job in finding the open man, and that's why they've got a nice little lead. Pick him up. Bounce pass. Watch the pick. Three under five. Launches from beyond the arc. He's Gets the front him. rim. Miller was too wide open if there is such a thing. I think he choked a little I bit on it. that three-pointer. Inside. Passes it in the paint. Knocked off course. Hits right to him. Playing defense is all about position. And Bob, 
He had great position. All he had to do was just get his hands in the air. Did I really see that? Let's see it again, Rod. Watch the bump right here, Bob. One thing to remember, this is a physical game. Physical is right. Real impressive that he got that shot off and laid it in. Stojakovic throws it in. Bibby is at the controls. He's four or five from the floor. Bibby dishes it off. Seven on the shot clock. Bibby cans it and gets his 11th point of the game. He set himself up on that one by going with the crossover. Everybody expects moves like that from him, but that doesn't mean they're any easier to stop. Passes. The steal. Bibby works it up court. He's shooting 50% from the arc. Perfect timing of the double team, Bob. You can look it up if you don't believe me. They trapped down low, the man had nowhere to go, and the defense came away with the steal. That's what they wanted. He heard the whistle, touched it on the way down. That's goaltending. Count the basket. Artes looks fresh coming back on the floor. Clark will come off the floor. The Miller oh, oh, oh. inbounds the ball. The Pacers work it up court. He's shooting 72% from the floor. Takes off. Watches the lay-in. Nice rebound by the 14-year man out of Serbia. Bibby has it. He's one out of his last two from the arc. Weber inside, wants it inside. down low. Down low. Launches from beyond the arc. Ties it up. Christie didn't have to rush that three because no one was near him. He just zoned him. in and let it fly. Get him. Just under three minutes here in the second quarter. Passes it. Watch the Pass to the paint. O'Neal takes a turnaround J. Can't drop in the lightly contested shot. They've been hitting the offensive glass hard the entire game, and that has put them on top. Bibby brings it up. He has 13 points from the floor. Watch out inside. I got him. Pin down, pin down. Passes. Seven seconds to shoot. Weber gets aggressive, Chris dunks Weber. it down with one hand. Christie made a great decision. He saw someone had a better shot than he did, and he gave it up. Now that's a team player. Team play is contagious, Rod. Let's keep our eyes out tonight for some more great passes. O'Neal with the inbound. Get him! The Pacers have the rock. They're three out of their last six from the floor. I got it. O'Neal passes the ball. High rises. Down it goes. Nice finger roll. Bibby has the ball. He has eight points from the paint. Passes it. Through post. Get him. Passes. Seven on the shot clock. They're inside. Releases from the stripe. Can't tie it up. Tinsley is at the controls. He's three out of his last four from the floor. Passes it. Fires. Gets the far iron, but it goes in. A simple but effective pump fade gets him enough room to bury the J. That's a clever move. I figured you'd like this play, Rod. He just nails the shot after shaking his man loose with a nice pump fake. You figured me right, Bob. Call me old-fashioned, but a simple, effective move to get to the bucket? Who can't love that? Weber throws it in. Bibby works it up court. He's shooting 85% from the floor. Bibby makes the pass. Defense! 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 Seven seconds to shoot. Bounce pass. ISO, ISO. It's going inside. That loads from deep, deep three-point range. Puts up a miss. Good Chris rebound Weber. on the inside. Weber capitalizes on the second chance opportunity. The defender really had his work cut out for him there. Against a superb inside guy like that, you've got to bring your big game. 47 seconds here in the second quarter. O'Neal wants the ball. They work it in. Seven on the shot clock. O'Neal takes a shot from the elbow. Gets back iron and out. O'Neal had no one near him, and he still blew that shot inside. This is the NBA, not the NBDL. 
The game is tied after that bucket by Divots. That's where his talent lies. Those inside shots just like that. Get him the ball. Keep getting him the ball. The Pacers ring it up. They're shooting 66% from the arc. Takes a quick shot. Bounces off the left rim and out. Good positioning tip by O'Neal. Great second chance opportunity. Couldn't agree more with you, Rod. Don't take any extra risks if you can help it. Weber inbounds the ball. Cannons this one the entire length of the court. Can't get the buzzer beater. We've reached halftime with the score 26 to 24. Let's run to Clark in the studio for a quick halftime recap. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. Here's a quick breakdown of the numbers from the first half. The Pacers have the rebounding edge here. They're going to need to work even harder on the boards in the second half because this game is just too close to call. Jermaine O'Neal in the first half has a total of six points and two blocks. A clear choice for our Sega Sports hot at the half player. That will do it for now. Make sure to tune in to the ESPN Post Game Show at the conclusion of the game. We'll send you back to Bob and Rod. Our test fires from 14, puts too much on it. That's nice heads up play on D. Bibby passes. They push it inside. Inside. Weber puts it up inside. Can't sink the well defended shot. Caught by Tinsley. Passes it. Miller gets vertical. Gets fouled. He'll shoot a pair. I like aggressive deep, but that's a little bit too aggressive. Almost an assault. You'll pick up the foul on that one every time. He gets the first of two. He gets the ball. Pivot with the inbound. Bibby heads up court. He's six of eight from the floor. Passes. Christie passes it. Seven seconds to shoot. Releases. Off the mark. Bibby has a first rate mid range game. Even though he missed that one, he has to keep taking that shot. The Pacers have the ball. They're two out of their last three from the arc. The shot from beyond the arc was missed by Miller. The King are at the controls. They're shooting 57% from the floor. Devon fires from the post, bounces it off the short side and in. Great look and a great bucket right here. Let's check that out again, Bobby. Oh, that was a nice feed, Rod. And no doubt about that, but it's only an assist if the guy makes the basket, and he does right here. Our test throws it in. The Pacers work it up court. They're one out of their last six from the floor. Passes. Out, out. Unloads from 10 feet out. Dumps it down with both hands. Our test made sure he wasn't coming away empty handed by throwing it down. Maybe he has it. He's shooting 33% from the arc. Lobbed. Shoots, gets it to fall. He's running from there. You'll sink those all day, Bob. What a nice shot. Tinsley brings it up. He has four points from the paint. Our test has position down low. Our test takes a wide open shot. They can't answer back. If you're in the NBA, you make that shot 99.9% .9 of the time. And we just saw that 0.1% that you never see. Now in the paint, gain some altitude. Goes glass on the lay-in. O'Neal inbounds the ball. Ball, ball, ball. Tinsley has the ball. He's three out of his last five from the floor. Tinsley dishes it off. Spins to the hoop. Gets stopped by Christie. Seven on the shot clock. Tinsley launches from beyond the arc. Can't drop in the lightly contested shot. 
Tinsley took the right shot. He didn't hit it, but you have to believe he's going to make that shot a lot more than he's going to miss it. Foul again. Passes it, leaps up, gets his sixth point of the period. He has a total of eight so far. Tinsley is at the controls. He's shooting 50% from the floor. Inside pass. Intercepted! Stojakovic with a bucket here. He can get his 10th point of the game. Passes. Uses the leader inside. Can't drop down his shot. Stojakovic has to score in that situation. When you're that much better than the defender that's guarding you, you have to take advantage. Artes passes the ball. Couldn't stop the run there and a miss by O'Neal. The defensive rebound by Weber. The King have it, and they're on an 8-2 run. I got it. Top of the key. Get him. Watch the clear out. Seven seconds to shoot. Inside. Devots from inside puts too much on it. Come on, defense. Devots is a proud warrior inside, so he has to be a little humbled when he blows an easy one like that. 44 seconds here in the third quarter. Grabbed by our test. Bounce pass in low. Seven on the shot clock. Shoots from just inside the line and can't stop the run. Artes must have realized that he had an average defender on him and put up that shot. The problem is, is that he's just an average shooter. Count that last jumper by Christie. Christie gets the bucket, but he's the beneficiary of one heck of an assist right here. That's what a good teammate does. He gets you the ball right in the spot where you're most comfortable. And after that, it's up to you to knock it down, and that's what he does right here. Miller with the inbound. Pick him up. Tinsley has the rock. He's three of six from the floor. Stand, stand. Passes it. Artest takes the turnaround J. Can't stop the drought. We're at the end of three with the score 34 to 30. The Pacers couldn't hang on to their lead at the half. Any stat you see as being a major factor right now, Rod? Assist, Bob. Their offense is bogging down way too much in one-on-one -on -one situations, and teammates are not getting set up and aren't setting each other up. They need to create some more opportunities for each other like they've shown they can do from time to time. Rises up. Can't get the bucket. But he gets the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Tough call, Bob, but the right call. Too much contact during the shooting motion. He gets the first of two. He gets the ball. O'Neal throws it in. Tinsley makes the pass. Passes. Seven seconds to shoot. Miller fires from the right block. Rips cord. Miller didn't like what he saw there at first, so he gives a little pump fake to get a better look. It works like a charm here, too. And after the fake, just lines up for the J and drops it in, Rod. Bibby heads up court. He has 13 points from the floor. Launches from beyond the arc. Picks up his fifth point of the quarter. He's got 18 total. He is too good from out there. Those threes are almost automatic. The Pacers have the rock. They're two out of their last five from the arc. That's how you fight for the offensive rebound. The putback was dunked down by O'Neal. Bibby passes. Watch the pick. Stay in Bibby stand. gets busy. Watch thinks his Bibby. 20th point of the game. That basket has really helped their turnaround from the first half. Look at these numbers, Bobby. Big time reversal that is responsible for their lead. The Pacers head into the front court. They're shooting 50% from the floor. Miller is asking for it in the post. Shoots. Doesn't get the tough shot. Miller is about as average as they come on the inside, so he's really at a disadvantage if a defender makes a good play on the ball. Go, 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 go. 
launches from beyond the arc. Gets the front rim. Yanks it down inside. Well, I tell you what, they dodged the bullet right there. The three was wide open, but they're lucky that one didn't go in. Passes it. Releases from close range. Not this time. It's watered away, and it's pulled in by Weber. Good timing there. He read the shot perfectly to whack it away. Indy elevates. Gets the lay in. O'Neal inbounds the ball. ball, ball the Pacers ball. have it. They're two out of their last six from the floor. Tinsley passes it. Get him. In the paint. Pass back. Get up. Puts it up from a step inside the line. Hey, doesn't here, get it all the way there. Oh, Bobby, you got to like the way he ripped that one down. Weber grabs the defensive board. And he has it. He has six points from the arc. Puts it up, That's can't drop the lightly deep. contested shot. Weber, Weber should have won that matchup inside, especially oh, considering how good he is. Blitz, four, blitz. The block. Bounce pass. Seven on the shot clock. Gets airborne. It. Down it goes. Nice Hit finger roll. Bibby brings it up. He's two of four from the arc. Bibby dishes it off. Uses the crossover. Puts it up. Great job. Yanks it down inside. D negates the shot. Man, these are two great players going head to head. That's basketball at its finest. Miller launches from beyond the arc. Get gets look. the front rim. Way to Double clean the up. offensive glass right there, Bob. Top of the key. I got him. Open in. They're inside. Passes it. There's the steal. Pivot has the ball. He's two out of his last four from the floor. Bounce inside. Weber unloads from 10 feet out. Not a chance. He's got his rebounding fundamentals down, Bobby. He sure does, Roddy. He anticipates where the ball's going to go, boxes out, and then cleans up. The Pacers will take a timeout here. Now by O'Neal. They can go two for one here if they want, Bob. Let's see how they manage the clock. Miller with the ball. They work it in. Seven on the shot clock. Pulls the trigger from the high post. Gets right iron, no good. Find the open man. Push, push. Stoyakovich is at the controls. He's shooting 66% from the floor. Tinsley with the personal. That's his first foul of the game. He gets the first of two. He gets the ball. O'Neal with the inbound. Tinsley with a bucket here. He can get his 10th point of the game. Switch, Miller switch. passes the ball. Tinsley with the personal. That'll be his second foul of the game. He gets the first of two. He gets the ball. Pacer, bring it up. They're shooting 33% from the arc. Launches from beyond the arc. Maybe next time. They just couldn't get that jumper to fall, Bobby. That is exactly the look they wanted, and they executed the play perfectly, but it just didn't work out that time. Received by Christie. Nice lay it off the glass by Christie. Miller throws it in. That's the end of the ball game. Your final score, 49 to 36. Well, that will do it for us tonight. Make sure you catch Sports Center so you can stay on top of the latest news in the sports world. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.
Thanks for joining us here at the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The Kings come away with a 13-point victory over the Pacers. They look to be in good form as they prepare for the regular season. The Kings just made a determined effort tonight to only take high percentage shots. The opposing team just couldn't pressure their shooters enough, and that proved to be the big difference tonight. Mike Bibby finished with a total of 24 points and four assists. He will get our ESPN Player of the Game. What a player. And that's all we have for you tonight. Don't forget to tune into ESPN during the regular season for games, highlights, and analysis. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.